Sustainable living, a way of life gaining more support by the day, is the sole purpose of the UM Flathouse. It's the brainchild of project coordinator Derek Canwisher. Here, students are able to bring green initiatives like sustainable communities to life, or in this case, a scaled version of life. A pellet stove is used to reduce the heating bill. Canvasher grabs a handful of pellets, hits a few buttons, and voila, cheap, clean heat. Well, cheap at least. But the effort doesn't end there. Insulated windows help keep out below freezing temperatures, while a computer monitors every kilowatt of energy the house is using. And it's telling me that total consumption for the week is at 70 kilowatt hours, um, fairly average from what we've been using. It's even it's a bit The terminology can get pretty confusing. If you don't understand what this kilowatt hour stuff means, is you can click on dollars. The high-tech software not only monitors monthly usage, but can also work to demonstrate how energy is picked up by this real time is turning The graph time. spikes as the burner is lit. The same result can be seen by using any appliance. Well, I would say just by opening the fridge, trying to trigger the motor, um, it, it jumps up 40 watts. High-tech gadgets aren't the only aspect of the flat's green footprint. Located in the backyard is an energy-efficient garage. It's still being renovated, but it's already saving energy with methods that have been used for thousands of years. What we have here is our, our straw bell wall, and this is something that our 204, EVST 204 students have been working on. A little over a dozen kids take the class, all of whom are able to get some real hands-on experience. It's also a way that students can get involved and they can actually do the work, you know, because it's not something that's it's very technical. Most recently, students have been working to revamp old shingles, which will further insulate the garage. We just sanded them and then put them back up, and great example of reusing materials. Future plans include an addition to the work in progress. For the time being, Canwisher will <laughs> keep smiling, um. knowing his class project may one day be the solution to saving our planet. For RTV 360, I'm Jake Stevenson.